Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And in today's video, I'm going to be announcing the winner of a fun crafty challenge I had here recently. And we're going to do a little crafty chit chat and catch up. I hope you'll stick around to find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month I get together with my die cut and paper trimmer level channel members and have a little live crafty session. Many times these involve challenges and they always involve lots of fun and they get a sneak peek at the upcoming sheet load of cards. Well, in November, the channel members decided we were going to do a mystery card. And really all that is, is they get the chance to make the newest sheet load of cards before it is released. I give them the dimensions ahead of time and then the instructions to put the card together during the live. It is always fun to see how their cards come out even before they've seen the latest printable. Speaking of that, if you haven't yet got your copy of the December 2023 sheet load of cards, I will have the debut and process videos in that description box below. You can find out how to download the file in the debut video and see how I made my first set, which here is a look at one of those in the process video. When I give instructions during those mystery card lives, I always put together a card myself. Now here's the one I did for November that used the concept from December 2023. And you can see it looks a little bit different. I decided to use this big piece of ephemera in place of a sentiment. Here in a little bit, I'll be sharing a look at all of the cards that my channel members submitted for this challenge. And you'll get to look at the little treasure box of prizes they can pick from and then I'll announce the winner. But before I get to that, I did want to stop by with a few channel kind of updates just to show you what I've been up to lately in case you've missed it and you want to go check it out. First up is a little Tailored Expressions update. If you didn't already know it, I am on their video design team now and I share videos on their channel usually once or twice a month. Well, yesterday they had their new release and actually their last release of the year and I got to play around with one of the new sets. That is the Gus and Gertie Get Crafty stamp set. When I saw the little crafty friends there, I'm like, this is going to be perfect cards for my crafty friends. Here's a card that I made on their channel. You can go see the process. I will have this video linked in the description box below, as long as the Gus and Gertie Get Crafty stamp set, and I'll have a link to their entire new release, which is called Perfect Pairings. The next video I wanna share about, in case you haven't seen it, is where I show you how I made this little gift. And here in a second, I'll show you a special surprise on the inside. I use the X-Tool M1 laser and blade cutter to cut the wood. And for the pattern, I used a download from Creative Fabrica. I hope that you'll check out this video, not only to see how this gets put together, but also there is a special offer for you from Creative Fabrica. So if you like digital fonts, cutting files, you don't have to have a laser cutter. You can have like a silhouette or a scan and cut or a Cricut. They have lots of fonts, graphics, cut files, classes. And I even noticed they have like needlework patterns. So like cross stitch patterns and stuff. So I hope you'll check that out. Again, it's linked in that description box below. If you like to give gift cards for holidays or special occasions, you might think this is pretty cool. So from the outside, you know, here, it looks like a cute little present, right? I stained it up in red and green for Christmas. But look at this. When you open it up, it's holding a gift card. Anyway, I had so much fun making this, so I hope that you'll check that video out. And last, but certainly not least for the update, 
is my Crafty Advent 2023 live series. If you haven't watched the replay or joined us live, I am going live every morning this month from the 1st through the 24th, except a couple days there where I'll be out of state, to open my three Crafty Advent calendars and then create a tag using the product. This has been super fun for me, getting together with you each morning and creating something right away with something crafty that I bought. The three calendars I am opening are Spellbinders, Crafter's Companion, and Tailored Expressions. Although all of these tags look completely different, you might have noticed they do have something in common, and that is the color palette. I had a little live kickoff where I told about the series and about the special giveaways, and then we chose together a color palette card from Sarah Renee Clark's Color Cubes. Here is the card that was chosen for the series. So once we picked this, I got out inks, markers, and card stocks where I could just easily pick this up each day and it was just less decisions to make when I'm already trying to create something like that with a new product. I also have a few different tag dies over here. And if you notice, I do switch those out from time to time. I have a shaker one, which I have yet to make a shaker from. This little smaller one that also has fun little toppers to flip up. And then the one I probably use the most is this just standard tag shape here. Now you can watch the kickoff and get all of the details on those special giveaways, which let me tell you, it's pretty special. You can get the links to those in the description box below. I'll have one directly to the kickoff video and then one to the entire playlist so you can get caught up and get those secret words. And if you join us each day live, you can actually enter to win the tags. So already I have 12 subscribers who will be getting a fun tag toward the end of the month. Now let's get back to finding who the winner is from the November channel member mystery card live. In front of me is a look at the items that the winner can choose from. And here is a look at the cards they created. To pick a winner, I am using wheelofnames.com and I entered everyone's name who sent in a card and the lucky winner is Jody B. Congratulations! I will be in touch soon to find out which prize you would like sent to you. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who played along. I loved seeing your cards as they came in, and I am looking forward to our extra special channel member live at the end of December. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.